Hello and welcome. I'm Zinder, and this is the second quest in the, uh, well, the level 5 quest, I should say. Because technically we've already done three quests, but the level 5 quest of the rogue setup, I have gotten to level 10, because why not? This will probably down level me unless it has me kill something out in the world. Anyhow, Jack appears eager to give you your first assignment. Oh there, Katarina. I must say, you're looking comfortable enough with those stubbers of yours. I, I reckon you're good and ready for your first assignment. Ordinarily, I'd stow me wids and let ye get on with your work, but seeing as we only just dragged ye into the shadows, there might be a couple of things ye ain't familiar with. Let's build on what ye likely do know, and that's a fact that the Admiral, God bless her soul, has outlawed piracy in Limpsa Lamincia. So why do you think there's still so many sodden pirates in this town? I'll tell you why. It's because there's still one way for them to loot and pillage without incurring the wrath of the law. All ye need to do is apply to serve the Thalocracy as certified privateer. A captain with a privateer's license is free to terrorize the seas till the old goats come home, so long as he only targets vessels what belong to the Galean Empire. Of course, considering how bloody vast the Empire is, that's plenty of looting to go around. Crews fill their holds with Imperial plunder, then sail back here to Limsa to offload the spoils, and that's where this particular case went sour. See, this one crew got their fambles on a magic deck device, a firing mechanism to be precise, but was rooked out of their hull by some heavy-handed coves. If you'll recall, or if you'll recall, we don't sit, that don't sit well with the code. If you're bold enough to rook a pirate out as due, then you'd best be prepared for a visit from the rogues. Oh, I hear a door. Ah, and speaking of visiting rogues, underfoot, over here, lad. I want the pair, the pair, uh, the pair of ye working on together on this. Pass sentence on them, code defying rooks, and bite back that magitech part. Eh? What's the last need me for? You're in charge of new recruits, ain't ye? It's Katarina's first assignment. You're to go along and give her the benefit of your wisdom. Since when was I in charge of... Oh, uh, charge of... Charge of new... Ah, uh, bugger it. Ugh. Uh, so I guess we're about to be partners for the now. The name's Paramu Harumu, but most of me fellows call me Underfoot. He might seem a touch reluctant, but Paramu's one of our best. You do just as he says, and you'll get the job done. Everybody has the same voice, apparently. Quest accepted. So, where do my be thievering? Oh, I have to talk to him first. Uh, on the chair. All right then, me young rogue. Seeing as this is your first official out, and I want to be sure your dent steps are up to the task. Them short blades, you need to get good and close to your mark. Eh? eh? Or I? I guess it would be I in this case, because it's sort of a pirate town. I. But. We ain't bleeding swads in shining armor, and the light of the kit we wear ain't much protection from a clip to the gan. So if you don't, if you don't fancy spilling blood and teeth, your best defense is probably not being there when your mark wants up to land a nasty clout. No shit. Sliding around to flank usually does the trick, but there's some rum fun every rogue should master, the perfect dodge. Clear your mind and trust in your speed, and you can leave an axe-wielding brute hitting not but air while you bury your stabbers in his guts. Right now, it's time to put this lesson into practice against some of those Ariel out in low and... I hope you pay attention... Okay, I already poked some of those to death earlier. I went back and killed them because they were part of my hunting log, so I was using them while leveling up. Why am I so confused? Okay, uh... Now... Oh. Eh. I feel like I'm... Eastern? No. I don't want Eastern. Yeah, I don't want Eastern. I want Western. No, I don't. I retarded. Lower Lenoshka. Mm, 
there. I was trying to figure out whether or not it would be better off teleporting, but that's clearly not the case. I'll tell you what I do now. Reading quest text like that is very hard on the throat. Also, I bought some gear from a vendor when I was doing some leave quests to level up, and I had some metallic gold down my inventory, so I said, screw it! I don't know what this looks like, and I don't really care about wasting it. So, I look funky. It's actually kind of disappointing because, well, I can convert that, but I can't cast glamour of things above my level, so which means that, well, the good news is, is the one of my favorite pieces of armor in this game is actually only like a level 15 piece of armor. I'm level 10. These drop very quickly. Does that count? Okay, that counts. Uh, is my return available? No. Okay, I should be able to teleport there. 170 gil. Don't really care. 170's not much. The advantages of having multiple level 50's. Granted, I'm not as rich as some people, but... Back in my day, prices were a lot cheaper. Like, I'm not even joking. I sold a... Materia... The other day. That, I swear, used to be a lot cheaper, but I might be out of my mind, and got 500 gil from it, so, yeah. Or not 500 gil, 500,000 gil. Not that you really care. You're probably here to see the quest text and hear me read it in a stupid voice. But occupying time it takes to do things with random nonsense. Da -da 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 -da. I just realized something. I wasn't reading this. Oh well. It was about killing jellyfish, probably. I'm not sitting you up for a laugh, lass. Trust me. I know I really want to hear the rest of it. Crap. I am so good at showing off these quests. Oh well. I I really don't care as much as I probably should. To be honest, I screwed that up because I was doing leave quests. Speaking of which, how do I see how many... I still have 88 allowances. Very good. I, I was literally just spam clicking my way through them. So, yeah. I'm assuming that guy in chat met by Rogue might be a little rough. Before level 10, it seems like it's impossible to really take on two mobs at once without getting destroyed. Like, I actually used some of my high potions. Thought that I was really going to use them for anything else anyhow, so... Meh. Welcome to the Droning Winch! What's your pleasure, miss? Uh... Chilled. Certainly, miss. Take a seat and I'll bring it straight to your... Hmm, changed your mind. Oh. That was one of the things I probably missed. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, da, da, da. Oh. After explaining that the first step in your is limited to divide the code on uh, a weak ale. Never in all my days. We may serve some cheap grog in the wench, but not that was watered down. If our usual ale is too bold for your ta taste, perhaps you'd like to order some from the underground menu. Aye, there's quite a lot on offer for a customer with your roguish charms. Was there something in particular that I could help you with? Uh, the trouble over that Magitek loot. T'was not a subtle job. The gang in question is an unusual group of former pilot pirates calling themselves the Dainty Demolishers. They seem to be an enamored they seem to be enamored of court dandy mannerisms and have a preference for seizing Garland machinery. They're also known for conspiring with goblins. Rumors say that the demolishers visit a beastman camp in Middle Anoshka to fence their goods. And the goods generally take the form of Imperial technology. 
I imagine the goblins were rather pleased to take possession of a Mach XL3 anti-aircraft cannon firing mechanism. If you mean to steal the device back, then all your then your trail leads to the goblin camp in Summerford. Summerford, eh? On your way, lass. Meet me across the river from the camp and we'll plan our next move. That's Paramu standing right there. Oh, 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 okay. Speak with Paramu over in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. I could go down and go to the middle of Noshka. Or I could run down here and use the Aft Castle Ethernet point. Because. Because why not, really? And. Da -da 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 -da, middle. Okay. Oh. That's closer than I was expecting to run. No. Oh. Uh, hunting log things. I should probably kill them while I'm here, because hunting log. Things. Oh, apparently I only needed to kill one of them to complete that hunting log. Get your noggin down, Katarina. I've been snilching the action across the way there. No sign of the demolishers, but I did see one of them gambler cubs stuffing the Garland gadget into his backpack. I knew it told one would steer us all right. This is your chance. Last clout that gambler gobby and grabble that device. Eh, I've lost track of which gob it was, but I'm thinking it's that sword on the left. Just make sure you dance away from any bomb blast twisting and dodging in the middle of a fireball ain't exactly effective. I don't think it actually matters. I have new ability mutilate, but on stuff like this it's almost pointless because it's damage over time. And I've also got a poison, which is just a 5% damage increase. Uh, present the firing mechanism number 43 to Baramu Okay. That's the way, lass. There was not for me to do but sit on me daddles and watch. So you got the goods then. There we go. Ooh. Cut ish scene. Aye, this is the device, ain't no mistaken. Well, ain't no mistaken. Let's get back to the guild, eh? We still owe them, still owe them demolisher bastards a million, but they'll keep for the now. Here, you should be the one to deliver the prize to Jack. It was your hand that snatched it out of the goblin's paws, after all. And... Back to Lamenta. Oh, wait. Captain! Captain, I say! Some fiend has perpetrated violence upon our goblin colleagues whilst we sought to wet our throats with fine liberation, er, libations. Wow. Th just the way these guys talk. This will not stand, Captain, or finally... Filched loot has been pilfered from under our noses. Blast and bother, my blood boils and bubbles at the temerity of this affront. I know not the identity of these audacious buffoons, but they shall be made to pay and pay dearly with me, my fine fellows. Well, I commented that wrong, or comma that wrong, anyhow. Huzzah! Okay. Shall return to the lower decks. As I figured, the average length of these quests, at least the earlier ones, are more of about 15 minutes, although that could have been extended by a few minutes if I hadn't have intentionally over-leveled the quest. But that's partly because while I am doing these videos on the quests, one of my primary goals is to level as fast as possible. Not really to be one of the first rogues to high level, that's 
pretty much screwed because uh, some servers, including the one I was on, were unable to log in for upwards of an hour and a half after every other server. But mostly because I want to get to high level content and start getting geared. But, uh, okay, yeah, I need to go inside. I don't know why they have to have people. Like, I understand, you know, oh, it's to stop people from coming in. But if he knows me, which he should, I should be able to just click on the door. You managed to grab all that firing mechanism yet, Katarina? Here's your firing mechanism. Ah, still in one piece, too. You've done well for your first assignment, lass. It don't look much. It don't look like much, but that crew put their lives on the line to cloy this here bobble. They'll be pleased to see it snatched back from the Ruffmans. We've yet to do for the dainty demolishers. Jack, this job ain't over. You're right, Underfoot. It ain't. You break the code, you face the consequences. Oh, this is not what I expected f from the inside of a convent. And who might you be, sirs? Ah, uh, your ignorance is understandable. After all, our schemes are always perfect. Our heist's impeccable. Shall I reveal our infamous name and drink in your delicious terror? We are deadly. Dastardly and dictionally devilish quail before the dainty demolishers. Seems they've delivered themselves to me. Captain, Captain, I say, those are the louse who misappropriated our merchandise. I concur, she is the self same simpleton who we trailed unnoticed to this very establishment. Surprise, surprise. No, no, my dear dandies, let us not be unpleasant. We shall endeavor to resolve this distastefulness without resorting to insults or other less diplomatic methods. At least not yet. Yo, th you there, yes, the clean-cheeked errand boy. Be a good fellow and fetch me your superior. One of your colleagues has committed a terrible crime against us, and we shall not be leaving until the proper restitution has been paid. Oh ho, an Anbury now, am I? <laughs> Tell me, Captain, just wonder what kind of place do you think this is then? Hmm, this place? Why, well, I suppose it is some manner of convent. The one eyed doorman named it the Dutiful Sisters of the Eldwists, or some such. And you've yet to realize your mistake. Your fate was sealed the moment you dragged your sorry Koron across the threshold. Are you threatening me, boy? I'll have my fellows cut out that imp impudent tongue. We've exhausted our reserves of dainty today, dads. Lads, show these fraudulent sisters how the demolishers deal with upstarts. Ye still don't understand, do ye? There are but three sorts of calls what the doorman let pass. Clients, recruits, God spit. I'll kill you all. Didn't your mum teach you not to interrupt a lady when she's talking? Ye'd have learned that the third sort of call is a bollocks for brains mark that marches himself right into the rogue's den. Rogues? But we were so careful! I heard ye tales in Pirate's Day, stories about the merciless wraiths who unpulled the code. They were, weren't called rogues back then, though. 
the upright thieves they were, the knives in the shadows. You can't be them. You're just trying to scare me. Well, the captain of the dainty demolishers is not so easily cowed. To the hells with your deceptions. Huzzah! Huzzah for my fallen comrades. And dead as a door now. Deceptions, eh? Anyone ye meet could be a rogue captain, even a clean cheeked errand boy. He's still breathing. Find some rope and string him up someplace in town. And now the job's done. Quite an introduction ye had there, eh? Welcome to Limsalamutsa's ever-churning underbelly, where the thieves shed their skins and became rogues. That explains why they didn't call them thieves. Because they don't really steal so much as... They, it's not really stealing, if you think about it. I'm not much for discussing the old days, but since it's come up, I might as well clear up the confusion. It was back when piracy was at its peak, the coves what protected the code were dimber dambers, the best lads and lasses to be had from among the pirate crews. They bit back the goods what was wrongly bitten and came for the guilty under cover of darkmans. Upright thief became the title for these coves, what dealt in sanctions, stealing, and milling. But it was only those as had cut all ties with the buccaneer's life that was accepted into the ranks, conflicting loyalties and all that. They formed their own guild and even their own way of speaking, and what was once pirates was pirates no more. Later on, when Morwob took the Amaral's chair, the upright thieves agreed to abide by her laws. We became the Rogues Guild to mark the change, and altering, altered our recruiting policy to accept ventures like yourself. But although the title is different, the job remains the same. Uphold the code and preserve the underground society what spawned us. Just as you've done with this assignment. Keep up the good work, Katarina, and you'll go far in the shadows. And I want the custom-made tunic. Because I do. Nifty. And then there, this next quest, I think, should be the level 10 quest. But we're not going to do that right now. I'm going to save that for the next one those ugly items. Anyhow, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.